Hi there, Leo. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your reading now for the week of September 25th through October 1st. This is intended to be a love reading. We're going to see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled those four decks for you. This may or may not resonate, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Leo. center of your reading is the Ten of Swords. Okay, that's a, that's a disappointment of some sort. Um, so that's the center, that's the basis of your reading, that Ten of Swords. Um, luckily, below it, we have the Wheel of Fortune, so that's good luck. So it looks like there's a disappointment, there's an ending or some, of something, because the Ten of Swords is a completion, okay? It's an end of something. Um, and it was something that is dis that it causes some disappointment, but luckily below it we have another 10, which is a Wheel of Fortune. So good luck. It probably is a very good ending, whatever it is. Um, above that 10 of Swords, we have the Karma card, which is the Judgment card. That card is um, it's absolution. It's an epiphany. It's an awakening. It's a breakthrough. I think some something is going to happen. It could come in very... Um, quickly and very, you know, it might cause a little bit of uneasiness, but it causes a breakthrough that forces a, a, a new start, forces a transformation of some sort. We have a Scorpio up there with the death card connected to the karma card. Um, so there is going to be a transformation, okay? You're going to have a breakthrough. It could come in um, very quickly and not as nicely as you'd like, all right? I do see that we have some, we do, we do have some quick energy. So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius right here and right here. And it's a very fast moving energy and it can come in uh, too, too bluntly. Okay. Can, it's usually not very um, caring, put it that way. It comes in and it gives you the truth. It gives you something and it wasn't very loving, put it that way. So just beware. The Two of Swords is pretending. It's about ignoring something, ignoring the truth about something, ignoring this, these words that were that came through. Just pretending that you didn't hear it. I don't know if that's the case. Um, this right here is persistence and um, resilience connected to this to this Ten of Swords fear right here the moon is fear of the unknown it's they're being very scared of something that you know you just don't know about that that there's a secret um but you've been working to release the fear i think that you've been working to release the fear but it's taking a long time with that knight of pentacles that could be the end is that the fear is finally going away that could be it but i see it has been a constant battle i mean you've been fighting 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 about it and, I, and it doesn't mean it's a big fight or anything but it could be in your head but it's been a, this fear has been totally you've been battling this fear you've been battling it we have this nine of wands right here that says that you you really have i mean you've overcome a lot but you need that ten of ten of pent or ten of wands to get to that completion. But you have a completion right here. All right. Um, the justice card. That's about doing the right thing. It can also mean legal matters of some sort. Could be a divorce. Could be a separation. Um, 
it's also a karma card so there's a, some karma here in this reading at least twice right here and I consider you know the death can be it doesn't have to be the wheel is destiny so there's karma and destiny here um, so this is a life lesson whatever's going on this week has to do with a life lesson of yours and it has to do with fear okay the lesson has to do with fear overcoming fear I think that's what it is. It's affecting your wishes being fulfilled. Once you overcome the fear, this that's when um, that's a breakthrough, and it forces a major change, and your wishes become more uh, filled. You know, your wishes become filled. That's satisfaction. All right, and security and abundance. So you do the end. You have to let go of this fear that is overcoming you. You must. And you have done a lot in that direction. You have. This is all the hard work you've put into it. And this one is too. You really have put a lot into it. You know? Um, and, it, and good luck is right around the corner. This is the outcome card. It's right around the corner. It's close. When the Wheel of Fortune shows up, it, it, it says that a new chapter is on the way. It's a, just a change of course. But it's bringing you closer to happiness. It's bringing you closer to satisfaction. Okay? But you've been... There's, there's a stalemate of some sort. Because you can't just let it go. You're still fighting the fear. Fighting the fear. But you're going to have a breakthrough, I think. This right here is the breakthrough that causes, hopefully, you to let it go. This is an ending. This is a completion. So the, you can only go up from here. I think there's a stalemate right now, but you're going, but I think that things are going to go up from here. King of Coins or King of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Expectations, Page of Pentacles, Things Are Moving Too Slow, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Man or Woman, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Man or Woman. Now you have, you have a lot of Pentacles here. So security and stability is a big issue for you. And that is part of your fear. There's no doubt. Security and stability is part of your fear. Okay? Um... You're dreaming of this fantastic, wonderful, abundant, secure, stable life. And you have these expectations that, you know, everything is going to be very good, you know, and, and prosperous. Um, it could be with a, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I mean, but I do see that your dream, you're dreaming of the future, you know, of things being just very serene. Um, and you have high, you have that high expectations that things are gonna be secure and stable, absolutely. Regarding your home life, right over the Ten of Pentacles, um, I think you have very high expectations. Could be of this person, who is a little bit more fluid than you. Now, this is anybody who has water in their chart, who or who is has very deep emotions very caring, nurturing, loving, kind, um, fluid, okay, very gentle, you know, and I think your fear is regarding the foundation, you're building a foundation, or you're thinking about a foundation, and your fear has something to do with, with your home, has something to do with your future security and stability, all right? And things are just moving very slow. We have we have slow movement right here in regards to that. Okay, because we have delays here and we have delays here. And this isn't very fast moving either. So I think this is saying that you have to have patience. Patience, patience, patience. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. Let go with the flow. This person goes with the flow. Just go with the flow. Okay?
trust. Oh boy. Yeah, right over this fear card. Uh-huh. This situation is calling for you to have faith and trust. It is. It is. Have patience too, okay? Even if there's a stalemate, you know, it doesn't mean that it can only go up from here. You can only go up from here. This is like rock bottom. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. And that can that it doesn't mean you're going to be married. That could mean the partner that you seek is is connected to somebody that they were married to. It could mean that that you want to get married and the other person doesn't, or vice versa, they want to get married and you don't. It could mean so many things. All right. If you're single completely, you could meet somebody at a wedding. Free yourself. Interesting. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It is. Free yourself from the fear. Finances and career. Big deal, because there's so many pentacles here. This is a big deal. You have these dreams of this future that, I mean, this is what it looks like, that you have these fe these dreams of the, these expectations of the future where it's fruitful and, you know, abundant and secure and you're not, you know, struggling. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Perhaps this person underneath it is struggling because of finances, finances and career. Maybe that's their struggle. It's affecting your relationship because, you know, they're struggling. This can always work for you or your partner. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Free yourself from the fear and reveal who you are. I'm going to get you one of my whispers of love. See what comes up. Back to what you love. Perfect. All right, I'm going to zoom that in, then I'm going to read it. Can't really see it that well. There we go. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. You have the ability to change what you are doing at any time. You don't have to feel like you are stuck. Go back to what you know and, more importantly, to what you love. Ask your angels to guide you with this process. You can do anything that you truly want to. Take an inventory and find where you got off track and then find what you need to do to get back to you. I think that's a good card for you this week. Right next to that, free yourself. That's a good one. Trust, codependency. Wow. Fear is underneath all of that. Time for me to go. Talk to you later.